Betty, why are women embarrassed to have sex with men? We get a lot of those questions that when they... Embarrassed, self-conscious, uncomfortable, all of those things. Like the first time when you're with someone you like. Casual sex they can do. Not necessarily. I think I had to be a little drunk or stoned. Well, let's, or let's face facts. Casual sex is definitely inebriated. A little help from our chemical friends kind uh, of sex. Or, yeah, it's, it's you, a casual, casual means that you have nothing in, invested. There's no risk. But, and this happened to me not long ago, once I am really, I really like someone. When you told me that you couldn't have sex with him, I couldn't believe it. And he's cute. And you had the whole place to yourself. I was so shocked by that. Like, I love that I, about I'm, you. I'm you sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, I froze. It's like, there's too much at stake. You're better off putting it off because at this point it's okay. <laughs> but after you do the sex thing and then... And here's where I go as an older woman. I go, oh, my skin doesn't fit anymore. You'll see all the lines on my uh, uh, arm. And, you know, what about I think your... all women do that, even when you're... Pr I do that sometimes. The dance on the back mm -hmm. of my leg. Oh, my God. It's just, you go... Then I start running the whole list of the... Now, it, you're either too fat or you're too skinny or your tits <laughs> are too small or your twat doesn't look right, or your inner <laughs> lips dangle, or you you can't find your clit. We go on and on or and on. Or you're afraid you're going to fart, you know, Please. or you're going to make a sound or a face that isn't attractive. And none of that actually matters. None of it. Then you we have to figure out a way to work through it. So first I had to watch myself have an orgasm in the mirror. To see it. So you know what you're going to look like. Yeah, no, and now were you surprised? What did you think? Well, no, but it you watched it. What did you think? At the moment that I came, I closed my eyes. <laughs> Everyone does, I think. <laughs> I think they do. We're not looking at that point. We're going, ah, eyes are closed, in your body, yes. taking off. That's why orgasms are so important. I love so, them so much. <laughs> it, it brings you right back down to earth. <laughs> I looked intense. I didn't look weird or awful. or yeah. and, and it's like... There can be a strain. You can have a... Uh, I always furrow my brow because when I masturbate, your brows. I look at my... I have lines afterwards because I must go, oh, uh, oh, uh, Because uh. you're squinting, <laughs> squinting, whatever, or your eyes are open and you're, you know, bug-eyed or, or your mouth is... <laughs> uh, Everyone looks weird when they're having sex, though. Uh, it isn't really weird. It's just we're not in, in repose or we're not posing. We're not being beautiful. Ugh. And that's the point, I think. You, you're just being real, and I can't tell you real because I do this for a living. I watch women. I teach them how to have an orgasm. So I've watched literally thousands of women have orgasms. Some of us are very quiet. Some some I, some of them, their faces almost never changed. Like the doll, like a little china doll. It just stayed the same, and there was like a little, ooh, ooh. It was a very delicate femi orgasm. And then others, you know, they're the athletes where they're sweating and straining it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's a range, and and anywhere along the range is okay. So watch yourself masturbate. Then watch, what else yes, did you do? watch yourself masturbate, and when you stand in front of the mirror, find all right. You'll already know all your flaws. We got them. Etched, oh, we know them. You don't have to tell anyone their flaws. Etched in stone. They know. Etched in stone. So. Look in the mirror and, you know, pick a number. I say three, maybe six. Pick three things about your body that you really like. And say it out loud. Yeah, and look at them and say, you know, I really appreciate the shape of my breast. They're so, you know, I, I won't talk to them now. Uh, <laughs> I really like the shape of my legs, you know, that it was whatever. I like the dimples on my ass. There you go. Mm -hmm. and, and, that, and that you appreciate that. And so you, we have to reaffirm our body appreciation. Now, when you get older, I got to tell you. You have awesome legs, though. She really? has awesome legs. Whenever I look at your legs, I'm always like, damn, they're tight. You have tight skin. The muscle tone is there. And She's they just look sexy. <laughs> I want to hump your leg. <laughs> like your dog humps yours. 